Hey guys, and welcome back. Today is Saturday, and I am at my mom's, and I'm going to work on this laundry room. Just like her bathroom, if y'all seen that makeover, I feel like this is a space that she's neglected and that she feels so overwhelmed with that she's just let it go. This room is super dated. It's original. It's still living back in the 1997 era, and we just needed it freshened up. It needed a good coat of paint. It needed to be cleaned. It needed to be decluttered. This was just a catch-all spot for everything. So we emptied out this room. There is a furnace inside that door there. We took that furnace out and I don't know how we did it because that thing is the heaviest thing I've ever lifted in my life. But you know, girl power over here. We did it. We got it out. We made that storage for her. This was the one room in her house that I wanted to do next because like I said, I just felt like it had overwhelmed her and it was out of control. Like a Okay, so we are gonna paint my mom's living room back next to the fireplace. The dining room, is that it? The hallway, the whole main area. She's getting like a really light gray and we're gonna paint the trim white, but we're gonna do this laundry room. She's really wanting this old furnace out so that she can make that like a broom closet because they have a new heat and air system that they don't use this. The electric is supposed to be cut off to it and everything. Okay. You want to touch a wire and see? Okay. Oh yeah, the wires are cut. We could do, we could get it out. Okay, you want to help? I don't think so. You use that dolly from your pebbles. We would have to. I think we'd have to move this washer back away, yeah. for sure. We're out. Okay. We'll try. We'll move this up. No. Not flashy. There's your mommy. So I've been so sad all week. We didn't even eat the skittles. <laughs> Grandpa used to ask why I'm single with such a pretty face. Where is your man? You should go out and chase him. Now I'm so tired of me. Wait, she got the right idea? She's trying to be all bougie. There's a rug, 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 there's that's why she said she was leaving. Oh. This speedo thing is heavy. Right. We got a two wheeler. All we gotta do is slide it off the back door to the porch. Yeah. Pat, Dad and Mom said put it on the back porch. It's not going. I say we just leave yeah. it. Honey, we can't. We were getting it out. That's how it seemed to me. But I did you. still touch. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna hold on to Can it. Can we just cut it? I guess so. What if it shocks me? Mm. Okay. Oh, that hurt I could be with you and you hurt me and you fall. I'm not 
not sure why they got a new heat pump because this still worked. I don't know if the one they got was better or maybe helped their electric bill or whatever, but she did put this on Facebook for free just for somebody to come get. She was just going to take it to the road and I was like, mom, put it on Facebook. Somebody will grab that. So somebody got that and they're getting some good use out of it. So, so glad that somebody could use this. Like dad try to move out, he'll hurt mm -hmm. himself. Where's it at? On your back porch. Didn't fall through? I mean, I guarantee you it's how much. We could barely budge it. It's over there for 100 pounds. Oh, more than that, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, I've got a patch on patch it. Do you have to cover that? There's air, cold air blows through it. I know it. it. So you don't need to cold air blowing through it? Mm -mm. No. Okay, then do you want me to put flooring over it? That's where the old return was at. Yeah. I cut a wire. We assumed it was old. They're not it. supposed to be. It was this None way. of it's supposed to be hooked and up. And I didn't die. So, and what are you going to do with that up there? I don't know. You just want to push it up there and screw it up like with a piece of wood or something? Needs to put a piece of floor over there. That's right as you go out the door and it's just there. I mean, it. we had to both stand on the two-wheeler and it flattened the wheels. Safe was. It flattened the tires. Yeah. And we pulled it, had to lift, like pull all our weight back just to get it back. I know it. It was I dangerous. That thing's heavy. Sure, that is. It's like it would fall through the porch. It, it might. It won't fall through the porch. It might. But I don't know. At. But look at the space. I know. Yeah, it'd I mean, be great for brooms, mops, all that. Are you mad that we did that? She didn't no. know. I always say who needs a man, but we we did. We did on that one. That's rough. Dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful, and how oh, I can't wait to hold you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down, and I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. So the kids had came in and they had been to Hobby Lobby and Walmart and they had all kinds of shirts that they wanted me to make for them with Mom's Cricut. And we don't have a heat press, I just use an iron. And that's worked out well for us so far, but they had all kinds of shirts they wanted me to make. So I had to take a break and do all that for them. You're talking to it like it You're welcome. I've made shirts all day instead of cleaning. Right now, <laughs> tell me what you want to do tonight. I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket
to paradise
trim white but I went ahead and just painted gray because it's gonna take two coats for the white kind of needs a primer and that white goes over that gray so well so I'm just trimming that out in gray and going over it with white but that's gonna look so much better so they initially wanted to take this cabinet down because it doesn't have any shelves in it so I'm gonna put a shelf in there or two and then I'm gonna move this one down like a notch or two and add the third shelf on top so i think that'll look good that'll give them some more space for whatever they need it for we are gonna throw away about half of what we took out of here because it's um they don't need it you know a lot of it was just empty i have a run in my paint i need to get okay how do you get that run there but we took the washer outside we got this furnace out so we can make this a closet for her brooms, mops, all that stuff. That's a ton of space that she can use. So we're going to do that. Okay. So that was out quiet because my mom's in there. But I think we're going to paint these cabinets a navy blue and have that done by the time she gets home from church in the morning. So I think that'll look good like a dark deep navy blue and then we're going to get some a couple new handles instead of taking those off and spraying them or i don't know we may just spray them i don't know what we're going to do yet but we're going to do that we've still got all of this up here to go but that's going to look so much better and then we're going to paint these doors if y'all remember when i did the kitchen makeover on the other side we painted and it made a world of difference it looks so much better so we're definitely going to paint that because i did spray that when i did the kitchen to try to clean that and it would not come off so i'm going to paint this back door as well because it's just seen its better days going to give that a fresh coat of white this breaker box i asked mom if she wanted me to paint it and she said no so i guess we're just going to leave that you know it's behind the door it's, nobody really sees that but this room has not been touched since they moved in this house in 1997 so it definitely needed a little makeover so i think it's gonna look so much better i can't wait to see what it looks like when we're done so it's almost 10 30 i'm gonna head to the house and get some sleep and probably be at lowe's in the morning when they open to get the third shelf and i'm gonna paint these shelves also i don't think i said that but whatever color we pick for the cabinet i'm going to paint the shelves that color and i'm going to pick a color for the cabinet that i mean i'm thinking like a dark blue navy blue but i just want something that she wouldn't do for herself so something she'll come home to and be like oh my gosh that looks so good but really wouldn't have thought to have done it herself so anyway just kind of like to surprise them there but looking so much better we do need to put a piece of trim up here i think we're missing a piece of trim in certain places i mean that just looks it's just it just needs to be painted i mean it's just just needs to be painted so anyway that is where we're at so we'll see you guys tomorrow okay it is the next day and we just went to lowe's and plans have changed so I wanted to take the door that goes into the laundry room off because they only use it if company's coming and they want to hide all of the junk or she uses it when she hangs up clothes from the dryer she'll use that doorknob to hang clothes on so I thought if I make that closet that had the furnace in it storage just put shelves in it she could put all of her cleaners bleach trash bags things like that in there and it's hidden so she wouldn't need the door to hide the junk because her laundry room now looks like something that she can be proud of and then 
add a rod from the cabinet to the wall so that she can hang clothes as she pulls them out of the dryer so she won't need the doorknob. So that freed up so much space, you can walk straight in there, open that freezer door. It put that in a bind because this door was right in front of the freezer. You walk in here to get in the freezer, you have to shut the door, open the freezer door. It just was a very tight fit. So we took the door off. It opened the space up so much. With the door being off, I wanted the cabinet to look the same as the kitchen. So we painted the cabinet white. We sprayed the hardware black. Just so when you look in there, it kind of flows. It matches the wall colors the same. The cabinets are the same. She has a rod to hang her clothes. She doesn't need that door now. I thought we could utilize that space where the furnace was so much more than just putting a broom or a mop in it. So we added all all those shelves it holds so so much and it just turned out so much better I think I think we utilized this space a whole lot more than we had planned on in the beginning say something meaningful say something I don't know I want to know you better the way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you make me feel right Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know Till my lungs give out your beautiful Till my lungs give out your
is just the peel and stick flooring from Home Depot. She has this in her dining room and in her kitchen. So she wanted it just to flow on in here to the laundry room. So that's what I'm doing there. This is super easy to work with. It's super thin, it cuts so easily and it sticks very well. She's had this down for probably three years or longer and there's not one piece that's bad. It's held up so, so good. Hey, oh. Go ahead and read my devotional to you guys and today's is unburdening here's what i've learned through it all leave all your cares and anxieties at the feet of the lord and measureless grace will strengthen you psalms 55 22. this life is always going to hand us some pretty big burdens we have responsibilities for so many things you might need to finish an assignment deliver a work presentation or take care of a sick child sometimes we face even harder burdens like health crisis or a loss of a job cares and anxieties are real yet jesus wants us to give them to him what does that mean to you leaving your cares with christ might simply mean that you have someone to pour your heart out to it's often said that we unburden by sharing our thoughts and emotions with others well, Jesus is ready to hear everything. You don't have to hold back. Spend some time bringing your cares and anxieties to Him today. Can you bring your worries to God and accept His grace and strength to face the day ahead? I don't know what I would do if I didn't have the Lord just to take the weight off of me. Sometimes I feel like that we'll carry it and something else will be dumped on us and we'll carry that and more and more and more. And we won't really ask God for help or to take it off of us until we're at our breaking point. And then when you're completely broken and you've carried all that you can, I feel like that's when we ask the Lord to help us the most. And maybe we do ask him day to day to help us just drop the little things off but i'm so bad myself to just carry things around and try to work things out myself try to fix things myself or just have them there just to overthink them that's where i don't know how people make it without a relationship with god without him to talk to without him to unload to to take that burden off of us i'm bad to ask jesus to take it and then i pick it back up and carry it right along with me but he knows that we're human and he knows that it's human to worry and it's human to have anxiety and all that but how sweet it is just to be able to have him lift that weight off you Today is my uncle's birthday. He was 44 years old. He passed away suddenly. It was tragic. It was devastating. My whole family still hurts so badly because of it today. And even through that, there were a lot of issues. I feel like a lot of times families either pull real tightly together and they become closer or some families there's division and death will cause division and, and it'll cause hard feelings toward each other. And there's just so many things that don't matter, don't even matter that we nitpick over with each other. And I know through my uncle's death, my mom was extremely close to him and she was so bitter, so, so bitter over it, even toward another person. She was so bitter toward them and I know it ate at her on the inside it tore her up just the bitterness was destroying her from the inside out and she got to a point to where she just had to cry out to God and ask him to take it away from her and she said that she woke up not immediately but she woke up one morning and it was gone she said every hard feeling every bit of bitterness I had inside of me was gone and what a good feeling it is to know that you're okay with everybody here she was able to be around that person and she was able to forgive that person and she was able to deal with Jake's death a little better and the pain got a little easier and a little easier and it's not that you forget or you get better but I think you just get used to the way it is now and it was just so sweet to see the Lord take that off her for her just to have some peace in her life again but I hope you guys enjoyed this video this wasn't a room that my parents asked me to do they would have probably lived like this on and on and on. It's been like this as long as I can even remember. But sometimes I think someone from the outside looking in can see how bad a space looks or how cluttered it is and bring that to your attention. Because when my mom looked back at this 
picture in this video, these clips, she said, I can't believe it was that bad. I didn't even realize it was that bad. And I would have never thought to hang a rod there, even though I needed something to hang clothes on so badly. And I think sometimes just being on the outside looking in and giving your suggestions helps open their minds to new things or declutter in a space. This space isn't perfect. Like I said, we don't strive for perfection. We just strive for better and it is better. I painted this back door, but we still need to put a couple of pieces of trim up and a few things like that. So, but it's a lot better than what it was and it utilized the space that they had sitting there waiting on them to use. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for all your sweet comments about Kennedy. I am feeling a little better, getting more used to it, but was super glad to see her on Saturday. But I love you guys so much. Jesus loves you. And I hope you guys have a great day. Broken things new Yeah, the only hope for you and I